Former DARPA director and now Google executive Regina Duggan is pushing an edible authentication microchip along with an electronic tattoo that can read your mind. No, this isn't the script of a film about a dystopian scientific dictatorship. It's trendy and cool. Duggan, who is head of advanced technology at Google-owned Motorola, told an audience at the All Things D11 conference that the company was working on a microchip inside a pill that users would swallow daily in order to obtain the superpower of having their entire bodies act as a biological authentication system for cell phones, cars, doors, and other devices. So, oh, this... You guys see it? This pill has a small chip inside of it with a switch. It also has what amounts to an inside-out potato battery. When you swallow it, the acids in your stomach serve as the electrolyte, That's what do. and they power it up, and the switch goes on and off. And it creates an 18-bit ECG-like signal in your body, and essentially your entire body becomes your authentication token. Duggan added that the chip had already been FDA approved and could be taken 30 times a day for someone's entire life without affecting their health, a seemingly dubious claim. Would you swallow a Google microchip every day simply to access your cell phone? Privacy advocates will wince at the thought, especially given Duggan's former role as head of DARPA, the Pentagon agency that many see as being at the top of the pyramid when it comes to the big brother technocracy. Indeed, when host Walt Mossberg asked Duggan about the surveillance implications, she merely laughed and told him to swallow the pill. We can just tell that you, you've taken the pill. I mean, the medical app. Yeah. The medical application. Does Google is now know everything I do and everywhere I go? Because <laughs> let's face it, Here, we, we just, like you guys, but you're from Google. Just give him some water and let him so, take that. So I... In addition to the edible microchip. Motorola is also working on a wearable e-tattoo that could also read a user's mind by detecting the unvocalized words in their throat. It has been known for decades that when you speak to yourself in your inner voice, your brain still sends neural spike volleys to your vocal apparatus, in a similar fashion to when you actually speak aloud, explains Extreme Tech's John Hewitt, noting that the device could also allow covert voice activation as well as being used to detect stress and emotion, because Big Brother really cares about your feelings. During the D11 conference, Duggan even predicted that if the e-tattoo was made to look cool with different artistic designs, young people would want to have it fused to their skin as an act of rebellion against their parents. It may be true that 10 to 20 year olds don't want to wear a watch on their wrist, but you can be sure that they'll be far more interested in wearing an electronic tattoo, if only to piss off their parents. <laughs> the edible microchip and the wearable e-tattoo are prime examples of how transhumanism is being made trendy in an effort to convince the next generation to completely sacrifice whatever privacy they have left in the name of faux rebellion, which is actually cultural conformism and convenience. Check us out on Twitter at twitter.com slash prisonplanet. This is Paul Joseph Watson reporting for Infowars.com.